is the architecture part 1 in the previous video we have learned the purpose of isda in this video we are going to learn about isda architecture we would discuss about the various documents involved in isda documentation and their hierarchy or the order in which they are placed however i have made the isda architecture videos in seven different parts for the ease of understanding in this video we are only going to discuss the outline of the isda framework and the order of order or the precedence of these documents there are two versions of master agreement the 1992 version and the 2002 version 2002 version is the most recent version and considered more the more with the current standard however the parties may also prefer to enter into the 1992 version there are key differences between these two versions but we would discuss them in some other video the 1992 version of isda has again two types of templates or versions the local currency single jurisdiction version and the multi currency cross border version the local currency single jurisdiction this is intended for parties who want to transact in the same jurisdiction and a single currency this is rather of a limited use as this restricts the parties only to single jurisdiction and single currency transactions the parties have to expand the scope of this agreement if they decide to transact in different jurisdictions involving more than one currency there is another version of 1992, the multi-currency cross-border version, which can be used as between parties of the same jurisdiction and a single currency, as well as between the parties of different jurisdictions involving more than one currency. The 2002 is the latest version, or rather an upgrade from 1992, and it can enable transactions entered into between the parties in different jurisdiction involving more than one currency. There are important changes in 2002 master agreement compared to 1992 master agreement. However, in this video, we are only going to discuss the is the documentation architecture. I will not be going through the differences of, 99, of 1992 master agreement and 2002 agreement. This would be covered in some other video. There are many documents involved in ISDA documentation, but to start with, ISDA master agreement and its schedule is the primary document where both the parties execute and bring the ISDA into force. ISDA master agreement and schedule should be considered as one document. As I have mentioned before, ISDA master agreement is a pre-printed form, nothing should be altered. The schedule is only to elect the clauses of the master agreement as negotiated and agreed by the parties. The schedule customizes the master agreement. So in case of conflict of understanding, schedule prevails over master agreement. Now confirmations are the documents which records the details of the transaction performed between the parties. Confirmation usually record the economic terms. Now if a conflict of understanding occurs, then confirmation will prevail over the master agreement and schedule. This picture shows you the order of precedence, how confirmation prevails over schedule and schedule over master agreement. In this video, we have discussed the outline of is the framework. In the next video, we would be we would discuss further concepts of is the documentation framework in which we would focus on is the master agreement and schedule please send your feedbacks to to derivatives.documentation at gmail.com do subscribe to receive updates for the channel derivatives documentation please do like and share the video if you found the content useful